Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'm gonna start sharing a little bit more about myself so you guys can get to know me on a personal level. So with that being said, on today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience living in Italy. Okay. <laughs> okay, first of all, a disclaimer, right? This is a very sensitive topic. Uh, so I do not want anyone down in my comment section below talking trash, okay? This is my experience. This is what I lived. I'm not saying everything I say is, you know, the norm. I'm not saying everything I, I experienced is the norm. But this is my experience and this is my life. So I would appreciate if you have some respect okay especially to my italian viewers because i know they're gonna be down in the comment section below talking trash because they're so sensitive like that okay so be open-minded to my story and understand that there is a problem there is an issue okay which has to be tackled has to be talked about you know for there to be awareness so i do not want anyone coming down and say no Okay, you can you can you can state your opinion, of course, absolutely. I, I I welcome that, I appreciate that, I respect that, but respect my own opinion and my story as well, and do not do, do not belittle or diminish my experience. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is probably gonna be a long video, so I would advise you to get yourself some popcorn, some drinks, some uh, gummy bears, some whatever you like enjoying, you know. Eat something, just relax and watch like you're watching Netflix. Netflix and chill with me. Uh, <laughs> so, let's start. Where do I start from? Let's start from the beginning, of course. Duh. <laughs> All right. So, basically, um, let's see. I moved to Italy when I was 14. I had no knowledge whatsoever of the language, of the culture, of the people, of the food, of nothing. And I was excited when I was told, you know, my when my parents told me they were gonna bring me to Italy I, from Nigeria, I was excited. I was like, yeah, I'm finally gonna I'm finally gonna be living with my parents and my sister and, and being in a new country, a new place, you know, everything seems so nice there, everybody seemed nice. You know, I was excited, I was genuinely excited. Um little did I know that I was coming to it's gonna sound harsh. That's why I said this topic was sensitive, but I'm going to be as honest as I can be because I am I am a very, like, shoot it straight as it is kind of person. So I'm not going to squeak out anything. I'm not going to, you know, sweet talk anything. I'm going to say it just the way it is. Uh, so back to the story. I thought I was coming to, you know, I thought I was coming to a place where I was going to be accepted. I was going to be, I was going to be accepted. I was going to be, you know, um, loved. I was going to be, to be part of the community. I thought that, but then I arrived and what, what I thought was going to be wasn't. It was totally the opposite. Uh, I arrived when I was 14. Um, like I said, I had no knowledge whatsoever of the language of nothing. And I arrived in June 2005, so which was summer, and the school was over then. I had to start school in uh, September of 2005. So, went through all summer, whatever, and all of that. In September, I started school. Uh, before September I never like I was going to church which was like you know there were Italians in our church and white people and everything uh, but I was never really around Italians like that it, you know I was never really around them like that so I never really like knew what it what you know I never felt that in my skin like coming from Nigeria there's before I came, before the age of 14 I came, before I came to Italy I had no idea what racism was I had no idea that you know there was any you know differentiation or any discrimination echo you know or uh, towards people of the, I, I i had no idea of any of that like i was so so naive when it when it came to that you know topic i didn't know racism was a thing i didn't know you know why 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 privilege was a thing i didn't know i didn't know a lot of stuff okay so I started school in September 2005 and and I was excited to go to school because I was like yeah new school new friends new everything new teachers everything is gonna be so fun uh, I remember I got to school and everyone was so cold everyone was so cold and mean and, and just nasty 
and not fun. And mind you, I was 14. And for a teenage girl coming from a different country, a whole new country, oh, I'm gonna get so, mm, I'm not gonna get emotional, not today. Not today, because I've dealt with this. I am a stronger person, you know, thanks to everything I went through in that place, in that country. Um, I'm not gonna cry, because that's not happening, not today. But yeah, um, everyone, everyone was so mean. Kids, kids are so mean. I don't know if it's, kids, kids are so, kids were so mean to me. Kids are so, I would hate to, yeah, for my children, for my kids to be that mean. Like, I, I was never, I was never mean. I was that kind of person, yeah, and, and people can testify to this. I was that kind of person, yeah, that if I saw you by yourself, you know, being lonely, being just a loner, like, you know, or, or you don't have anyone to, to be with or to have fun with or to play with or to, I was that girl, I was that, 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 that kid that would come play with you, that want to, you know, make friends with you just so you don't be by yourself. Like I said, people can testify to this. And seeing the opposite like people pushing me away and i remember the first word i learned i remember when i got to school was cosque de vol negra which is in veneto dialect the veneto is the region where you know i lived in the veneto dialect means what do you want negro those were the first words i was told when I started when I started school in Italy and um, i dreaded going to school i i dreaded going to school i dreaded going to school i would i would have a heavy heart waking up in the morning to go to school because i know everyone, everyone was going to be mean i know everyone was going to be so nasty and, and during break time i would literally be by myself because in a whole school of a thousand and how many people no one would want to come to me people were like i don't know i literally believe me there was one girl yeah she was literally scared like scared for her life of me Cause she thought I had some type of disease or whatever, you know, I'm, I come from Africa, you know, ooh, she must have HIV or something. And she would literally like, she would be like this anytime I come close or, you know, I'm trying to like come, she would literally like, like that. And it took me a while to understand, like I, I understood it that, you know, I wasn't being accepted because I was black. I understood that, but I couldn't understand why. I couldn't know because it didn't make sense to me. Like I said, I'd never experienced that. I never, I never, I didn't grow up, you know, thinking like that. I didn't grow up in such environment. So coming into that, you know, for me was a shock, a whole shock. Like moving to Italy, coming to Italy was a, a cultural shock, a, a, a social shock, all type of shocks. Believe me, it was all types of shock. And, um, and yeah, so that was basically it. And as if that was not enough, uh, I would get uh, bullied as well because you know I'm 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 if you've watched my video you would you would see I'm not a shy person per se uh, I'm not like a, I'm a very like open person like yeah tada in your face kind of person um, but when I when I first arrived in Italy I became so shy I literally bid a shell and just hide in there and, and just you know closed up in there and I was really really shy and 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 they took that shyness for weakness and automatically started bullying me because of that. There was this girl in particular, I won't say her name, but if she's watching this, she knows who she is. There was this girl in particular who would literally, like I said, I dreaded going to school. There was this girl in particular who would literally go during like um, computer class, we would go to like um, computer labs, right? And she would go back to class and take my, my snacks from my bag and throw it away or eat it or do whatever she wants with it. And during break time, I wouldn't find my snack. And, and everybody knew, everybody in the class knew that she was doing that. So during break time when I was there looking for my snack, and they would be laughing, laughing at me. And of course I figured out that, you know, I remember even my mom coming to school and talking to the principal, and the principal talking to them and to her, but nothing changed. Nothing changed. But yeah, that was basically how I spent my first year in Italian school. It was, uh, it was horrible. That wasn't fun. In my second year, so second year, second school year for me, but my first year of high school, basically, uh, prima superiore for those who know what I'm talking about, uh, it was a bit 
better in the sense that you know I realized that people people didn't want to make friends with me because I was black so automatically I just didn't want to make friends with anybody I didn't pursue any you know any friendship no more I didn't even try I just during break time I would just sit in class and be by myself read a book uh, listen to music or you know draw do whatever I wouldn't even go out with the other kids because I didn't feel like you know I I was gonna be accepted because I wasn't and that was basically how I spent my first year of high school, just being by myself, just being a loner. And in my second year, eventually, you know, uh, I'd mastered the language. I had, uh, I had more confidence, if you will, and I was more, you know, uh, participant of the school, the class activity, if you say, because I could, you know, I could, I could communicate, I could contribute, I could say what I wanted to say because I understood and can speak the language better at this time. And eventually, uh, my best friend now came into the school that year, that school year, that second year of high school, um, Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> she came into the school that year and she was literally the one who turned everything around for me. She saw... <laughs> oh. I said I wasn't going to get emotional. But yeah. <clears throat>